cool, refreshing Karma Citra IPA. <sighs> yeah, it's an IPA, all right. Hi, I'm Alex Whitlow, the hardest working, best looking, and most modest member of the Great Lakes Brewery team. I'm here today for episode number four of Between Two Fermenters, where I am joined by none other than Robin LeBlanc and Robin LeBlanc's friend. We hope you enjoyed the previous installment of Between Two Fermenters with the old drunk pokeroo, where we got to truly know the soul of the poke. Perhaps a little more than we might like to, but hey, anything for a laugh. This episode is brought to you by none other than Karma Citra IPA from Great Lakes Brewery, a seasonal refreshing option available for just a dollar at 325 at your local LCBO. Uh, <sighs> yeah, he's going. All right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Some comfortable drinking. That's uh, professional. Yeah. yeah. That's a that's a beer industry thing. That's that's a new tasting technique. Do you want us to burp you? <sighs> Might come down to that. Okay. Brimming with tropical flavors and aromas, pours a solid orange color, as you can tell by looking through the can. Brilliant orange flavor uh, that you can clearly see through the can. Yeah. I think How many IBUs is that? How many IBUs is that? Oh, a whole IBUs. bunch. Yeah? This many. That many? Can I offer you two a, uh, a beer? No. No? Well, just kidding. Have yeah, you tried this might, stuff? Me as well. Okay. Yeah, uh, 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 what? 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 Wait, wait. what? Did, we, did we not grab that? No, it's one's Jordan's. Oh, oh thank you. All right. right, there you go. And then, Okay, that one's yours. I feel yours. like I'm going to get GLB. And that one's yours? And that one's mine, thank you. Okay, and that one's... Okay, and that one's yours? Mm -hmm. And that Doctor. one's mine? Doctor. No, no, no we're good. Okay, okay, we're good. So I'm joined today by Robin LeBlanc and Jordan St. John of the Ontario Craft Beer Guide 2017. And, oh wait, sorry, it's 2016. This is 2017. With a few short months left in the year, when can we expect the 2018 edition? When it's done. Just about as soon as we figure out whether there are new breweries. All right, so... <sighs> Delving right into it, getting to those hard-hitting questions that we are so known for. Uh, how long have you two been married? Um, we're, oh gosh. It's about nine years now. It's, it's really difficult to keep the energy alive. Now it's no secret in Ontario, uh, the industry has been growing exponentially. Every year it seems to almost double in the year before. Do you think that Ontario can sustain this many beer writers at one time? So. You've written uh, a handful of, uh, of, of books. My hands are full of your there books. Therefore, a handful of, of books. Of books. Yeah. Uh, so what does the writing process uh, consist of for, uh, for categorizing all of Ontario's uh, breweries up until, you know, three weeks ago? I, I turn on uh, Google speech, and then I just yell at the computer, and then eventually we just delete all the swear words. That's the same strategy we used to get our beer names, actually. Now, uh, neither of you can drive, to my understanding. How do you get to all these breweries? Uh, we walked Painfully, a lot. Yeah. yeah. Walked, really? Yeah. How's, how's Kenora? That's, like a, that's a bit of a hike. My, as in, as in my producer's world. telling me I'm not drinking enough. What's next? What are you, what, what are you, what are you excited for? What's, what, what beers are you looking forward to? I'm looking yeah. forward to breweries launching year-round IPAs. I mean, mm. I understand. I hear that's a thing. That's something. Yeah. I mean, sometimes it takes them 30 years to get to the point where they do that, but... Even if they're well-known for, like, making mostly All right. IPAs? Yeah, even if they... 31, by the way. Yeah. Um, yeah. Now, uh, for those not familiar with your uh, literary works, uh, you two also do a series of uh, videos, online oh, videos, yeah. That's, yeah. which I think is totally a lame move. Doing online content is, let's be honest, I mean, especially if you're ripping off an actual, like, successful online I know, online right? Yeah, yeah, like, at least not... have some energy or, and, like, some, some originality. originality. Hey, hey, Jinx, hey, you owe me a beer. If hey. all you can get is a second-rate Ed Helms impersonator, it's... I don't even know who Ed Helms is, but I bet he's handsome. Yeah. Uh, so you also have some online videos in which you uh, critique beers. I think critique's a strong word. Um, what drink. the hell is going on with those? Well, you basically got to do something with the beer people send. Well, that makes me want to drink, that's for sure. Absolutely. Mm. Yeah. I know that it's a lot of fun, though. I mean, you know, you get a bunch of thematically related beers, and then you just clown on them for about 30 seconds apiece. What was the last GLB beer that you quote-unquote clowned on? I don't know. You guys haven't sent any beer for a while. Ah, so you're one of those beer writers, eh? Okay. <laughs> As is tradition. 
I'm no. going to ask you a series of quick questions, and you're just going to say whatever comes to, you, to mind as quickly as possible as we sit between these two fermenters. These two fermenters. I, if you look closely, you can actually see I like. I finally get the title now. Then. That's awesome. Uh, what's in this one? This one right here. Yeah, this one here. Uh, well, well, that one is full of uh, Octopus Wants to Fight IPA. Yeah. That's now a year-round available beer for the old GLB, so we gotta produce it all the time. Uh, quick question, who's that guy who keeps walking around in the door? Yeah. Back oh, there? the shadowy figure? The shadowy fig, who is that? That's our ghost. We've talked about this before. I wasn't joking, our brewery is haunted. Okay. Oh. Now we're gonna jump into some rapid fire questions. Those are questions which I say slightly faster than the other questions, and it's intended that you have a quick response. Okay. It really works out that way, but hey, maybe this time it'll be different. So, uh, Sour versus real sour. Mmm. 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 Real sour? I think uh, sour. Sour. Yeah. Okay. One on one. Uh, do you fear that the media isn't talking enough about buck a beer? Buck a what? Yeah. Well, moving right. on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll take the free publicity. I mean, sure. who would, yeah. right? Why I mean, not? Come yeah. on, you gotta. Uh, name your favorite GLB beer. Oh. Ooh, that's good. That is, that is a good that question. Is, that's a hard question. Yeah. You know, I like that Golden Horseshoe. I actually, uh, Golden Horseshoe, I like Limp Puppet, actually. It's not called Golden Horseshoe anymore. Uh, who's your favorite Ontario beer writer? Hmm. 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 Well, you know, typically, I would say Mike Burton. But because of the... Never heard of him. He must be new. But gosh, I don't know. I think I'm going to go with uh, maybe Crystal Luxmore. Crystal Luxmore. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, third best. That's who's the, uh, the worst beer writer? Uh, me. It's me. Yeah. Yeah, it's Jordan. No, it's me. I also had Jordan. All right, cool. Unanimous. Yeah. Um, Jordan, have you ever written a blog that was less than 100,000 words? Well, you know, I find it really difficult to get under 100,000, but one time I made 98. This is empty. Is there any more beer? Oh, you, would you like another beer? Actually, I might. I could yeah, probably go for one as well. Beers, probably. Yeah. You want? Okay. Yeah, they're right here. Um, would you... Uh, yeah, they're right there. From the bottom, they're colder. Let's take that. Yeah. There's one right there. There oh, you go. Thank you. I'm going to take two glasses. Uh, there's yours. Would you like to take one for yourself? No, I'm okay. Okay. Now he's not allowed. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Oh. All right, well, you got a, got a, got a one. frothy one here. Yeah, just make yourselves at home. No, yeah. it's fine. It's fine. It's make fine. at home on these uh, high rising chairs. It's fine. Chairs. Yeah. All right. My pet peeve is when people come on your show and talk more than you. What is um, one of your pet peeves of the uh, beer industry currently? Oh, um, that's a good question, actually. It wasn't yeah, that no. good a question. No, no. it's really not. It's I just, a stumper. I just like, I mean, but, it is, but it is a stumper. There are like, so many things we hate. What can I do to get into the 2018 edition? Or, like, I know it's end of the year, maybe 2019 edition. Hmm. Well, you're gonna have to do something more impressive than this. Yeah. You've drank all of my Karma Citra IPA, so that must mean that the show is over. Okay. Thank you again, Robin and Jordan, for stopping by uh, the uh, Great Lakes Brewery Studios here. Uh, I'm sure you guys had to take time off from whatever the hell it is you guys do all day. I hope that you'll join us next week when I am joined with Allison Nimick. Oh, of uh, Country Malt Group. Country Malt Group. Country Malt Group. Country Malt Group. Great. Oh. Yeah. Country Malt Group. There you go. Allison, we can't wait to have you. Uh, as for the rest of you, keep tipping your glass in the right direction, which is toward your face. It's been a slice. I'm going to Bryden's. You don't have to come with me. I prefer you didn't. Smell you later. I live for professionalism.